And with that intro, we are off, guys! Hello, this is Redly Duff! Welcome to our next Let's Play, guys, Banjo and Kazooie for the Nintendo 64. One of my personal favorite games, the first game I ever played, ever. So this is, um, this is really great. This game was invented, or well, created, basically released when I was born, so woohoo for me! Something I'd like to say, um, I was actually supposed to do uh, I was actually supposed to do the Pokemon Platinum let's play right now but I decided to rather do this now because Platinum is just the upload oh it's so annoying right now and I didn't have the nerve to deal with it so I'm gonna do this now good luck to me and let's go ahead and start by pressing start okay let's see hmm we have Z. Let's press Z. Are you sure? Press A to confirm. Okay, let's start playing. I'll shut up now. I'll do the reading though. Scary. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Bloop, bloop, white grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. Cough. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Er, uh, but there is this girl. What do you mean this cannot be? There is no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and sweet and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie, she's cute and kind. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, this house brings back so many memories. Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. There we have the main protagonist of the story, Banjo. Along with his partner, Kazooie. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! <laughs> it 
if Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks, and ugly she'll be. <laughs> Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there, in the sky. Because a bear can fly. I don't think so. Who is that? Maybe a fucking witch? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity! Let me go, you ugly old hag! Don't scratch and bite, my little bear! You'll soon need bigger underwear! Oh no, she's got her! Somebody... Help! Banjo, wake up! Now! Oh, yawn. What do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside. There's trouble. <laughs> and we start our adventure. This is Banjo. Oh my god, guys. I'm so excited. I can't believe we're doing this. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my god. Can't wait. Okay, let's do this. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy, Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can you talk? Better. Think than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister? Tootie. The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach, press if some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. I'm pressing B because this is simple. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain. Hmm, very well. I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Z, crouch, A, jump, A, tap A again while jumping, and you do this like little, um, dash, no, ugh, staying in the air longer thing. With B, we roll. If you press A and B, we do this movement. B and B, uh, Z and B does this like little dash on the ground. And if you press Z and A, you do this. It's like backflip. So now that we know our basic moves, this shouldn't be so hard. There we have our first enemy, a carrot, because of course, why not? Okay, and I'm just gonna have to interrupt, interrupt the video real quick. After this speech, mmm, I'm sticky, tasty, honey, energy. See you guys in just a bit. Sorry for that, we are back again. Oh my god. All I gotta say is Mexican food. Okay, let's change camera angles. And I believe what we really have to get here is these things. With this. And I will read the text. Um, an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. Yep, that was the honeycomb. Okay. Let's go this way. And I believe we have to go around here. And dive here with B. And get this one. Underwater? Oh my god. This is the thing... That scared the hell out of me as a child because, well, I was really scared of like always drowning in these places. So I got the biggest freak out. So my brother always had to be there with me. So thank you for him. <laughs> yeah, and oh my god, it was, it was so funny. And later in different levels, you'll see where I also had freak outs. This game is just so nostalgic for me. I love it. But some parts of this game I couldn't play without my brother. So if it wasn't for him, then this game probably wouldn't have been as. Damn it. Without him, this game would have probably not been as cool as it should have been. But this game is amazing, and I recommend all of you get it. Uh, turn... There we go. No, don't miss it. There we go. And we got this. An extra life. Look. Look out for me. I'm an extra life. Good to know. Good to know. Swimmy, swimmy bear. 
And I believe uh, one of the honey honeycomb pieces are on a tree. Let's kill this carrot. Damn you, veggie. Is it up there? Nope. Let's go this way. Not there either. Where is it? Which one is it? Damn, my hair's in the way. Okay, there we go. Ah, rocks. Oh yeah, I believe I know how to smash these ones. And I'm not sure, but do you only have to smash one here? Okay, no, you have to smash them all. And then the last one will reveal to us a honeycomb piece. Only missing two. Good to know. Turn views. Turn views. There. Okay, let's go up here. And I think I missed the um, one that I needed. And there we go on the cauliflower. Let's get that one. Look, it just jumped out of that hole right there. Jump over this and let's find the tree. Is it this one? No, I think we've been up there. Um, let's see. What, what was first person view again? Damn it. There we go. Oh, there it is. Okay. And let's go ahead and get that one. And we've completed one life. Uh -huh. And there we go. We get another honeycomb. That is super duper fantastically delicious. That is... Oh my... Oh, damn it. Oh, get it. Yes. Ah, oh, damn bear. Okay. What I think I'm going to do is here... Um, each episode is going to be... Damn it. Damn it. Okay, each episode will be split into two parts. Oh, no, never mind. I just said that totally wrong. I'm pretty sure this is a shortcut. Or just totally miss it. Okay. Anyways, what I want to say is each, like, level is about 40 minutes. I think I need 40 minutes about that to complete it. So one level is going to be, like, two episodes. So it's going to be, like, a 20-minute, uh, no, 20-part Let's play something like that probably. I don't remember how many levels there were. Wait, there's gonna be a lot more than twenty. Never mind. There's more than four levels. Wait, no. I don't know. I can't do the math. So if you're ready to tackle the witch now, we sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge to enter Grantilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Okay, let's go ahead and go inside then. It's just rolly rolling rolling what just roll roll rolling what and head in through her mouth hole wow too fat to fit in there ah burpy poor grunty yes poor grunty will make me young and tooty old let me go you fat hag my brother will come and kick your butt Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly bitch. Yes, Mistress Grunty Power is on. See, be ready. Banjo, help. <laughs> ah, we entered this part right here. There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. Okay, basically this is the beginning of the lair. This is like the main hub. Because the outside world is the main hub, yep. Here's a cool picture of Grunty, but what we really want to do is head up here. What the hell is this? It's a jigsaw piece. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Best part of the game. Dip, dip, dip. Do, 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 do. Uh -huh. Favorite part of the game. We got our first jiggy, which is great and fantastic for us. Now we have to head this way to this like cool looking mountain. A little thing I want to point out, the music in this game, stellar. So great. I love it. Like licky licky love. All in that shit. The level design, amazing. Game over around 10 out of 5. What we do here is we head here. And we press, yep, once he's done talking, we don't really care about bottles right now. We got the first jigsaw piece, god oh boy. Great to fill in the picture. Okay, with A, you fill in the picture. And I press A, and I fill in the picture piece. That's what this game mainly revolves around, this mechanic. And we, have, we can now enter Mumbo's Mountain. 
Our first level, that was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. Okay guys, I'm gonna cut the episode right here. Hopefully you enjoyed. And as a little like ending bonus, I'll show you guys what happens when you end the game. I'll show that for this part. Like so I'll read the no I'll read. Banjo's game ends in my tower. Turn it up, I need full power. Yes, your grunty ship transformation soon be complete. Help me, Banjo! I feel all funny. Bear and bird finished grunty wins. And there she comes out all sexy. I'm just kidding. Look at Grunty, she's a beauty, a much prettier than Tootie. Oh, you are mistress. Grunty, nice comeback, come on boss called, yes. Ooh, she looks even hotter than before. Banjo, your sister wants to word with you. Now. So yeah, that's like demoralizing to make you keep playing because you don't want that to happen to your sister. That was the ending, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Banjo and Kazooie. See y'all on the next one.